What's up? What's up? It's going to be a collector read for the Aquarius. What's up? For the Aquarius. Collector read for the Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. Ooh, that was a lot. Spirit angels, answer the highest white light. Please give me air messages. Arjun Michael, please protect me. As a one of these energy spirits. So we got on your divine power. Let's take a moment to thank God for everything he's done for us. You know, for his grace, his mercy, just everything he's done. You know, just being able to walk, talk, you know, just having birth in your body is a blessing. Be, show gratitude. Look at the things that you already have, not the things that you want, but look at the things you already have, what he's already done for you. And be grateful. Be thankful. Okay. So we have on your divine power, replace codependent, people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. So Aquarius, some of you guys could be trying to people please people. You may want to get this crystal here. But some of you guys could, you know, try to, um, you know, people please people, you know, stop doing that. Don't be trying to please nobody. They can kiss your ass. Tell them kiss ass. Tell them to kiss ass. Straight up. You know, so either, either, either a person is going to accept you for who you are and accept you for you or they're not going to fuck with you at all. So it's either you mess with me or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Which one? Because, you know, you can accept it whichever way it go. Don't be trying to people please nobody. Okay. And we have this crystal angelite. So we have spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. So you need to get into um, people that believe in the same things you believe in. People that are like-minded. People that, you know, they're into the same things that you're into. Because that way, you know, y'all can relate. And, you know, when, you, when you're around like-minded people, you know, you're able to grow. You're able to, they're able to help build you up. And you can help, you know, each one teach one. You can help, you know, learn off each other and teach each other things. You know what I'm saying? You can, you know, piggyback off each other and share ideas and share things with each other here. So, you know, a lot of you guys could be spiritual or you could be religious. But either, either or, you need to get around a group of like-minded people. They're just like you wanting to be, um... Uh, you know, a mogul, you know, a, a mogul, you know, you want to get around people like, let's just say, for example, like somebody like Jay-Z who has been there, done that. And they can show you how to, how to, how, you know, how to handle, how to, what to do in the game, the steps to avoid, the, the type of people you want to hang around, the moves you want to make in business, you know? So we have... Tens of night, ready to love again. You've healed from the uh, from the past enough to open your heart to new love. So a lot of you guys have been hurt before. You have been disappointed. You have been let down. You have been heartbroken. But you have healed enough. E either you've healed all the way, or you have healed enough where now you're ready to you know kick it in a you know see what somebody knew about, see what that new knew about. You know you never want to take your past you know failures into a new connection or into a new person you never want to take your your past hurt into a new connection because when you're still um carrying that bitterness when you're still carrying that pain when you're still car carrying that hurt inside you can project that on your your new partner right and you can self-sabotage a great connection because you're holding on to something that a past person did so don't let a fucked up individual fuck up something good with the right one you know with mr right or mrs right smoky quartz some of you guys may want to get this crystal as well. Clearing negativity. Release negativity from within around you. So stop hanging around negative people. Don't be around negative people. Take yourself out of negative environments. Being around negative people will have you setting yourself back. Being around negative people will have you into negative shit without even necessarily knowing. You may find yourself gossiping and not even realize you're gossiping because you're around these negative motherfuckers that they could be gossiping. You know, just shit like that. Stay from around negative people. Be around more positive things, whether that's people, places, or things. Be around positivity, you know, here. Um, aquamarine. You may want to get this crystal as well. Divine life purpose. Trust the signs in your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. So you want to trust the signs of what spirit is trying to give you, what spirit is telling you. Spirit is trying to guide you down your divine path, your divine purpose. In order to step into your divine calling, step into your divine purpose, then you need to release what? All this negativity, all the toxicity, people that are not for you, people, places, and things. And then we also have ruby lights. You may want to get this crystal as well. Passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. So some of you guys have something that you are very passionate about. For example, this could be teaching. You may love to teach. You know what I'm saying? You may be a teacher and that may that, that may be your passion. It may be your purpose, right? And so, you know, spirit is giving you the enthusiasm and the energy to put your all on something that you are really passionate about and you're really into, no matter what that is. 
Let me see here. Anything your patch could be you patch about doing hair or anything. Come on. You could be you could be passionate about being healthy. Maybe you want to um, open up start. Maybe you want to open up your own gym. Start a gym. Open up your own gym, and you know maybe you want to give classes within your gym, um, teaching people about nutrition, how to stay healthy, how to stay fit. You know, um, being a personal trainer. You know anything like that. Play. So spirit wants you to have more fun. Spirit wants you to experience the lighter side of life. Laugh. laugh a little more. You know what I'm saying? Laugh a little more here. Yeah, break the chain. Okay, we got play, which is have fun, celebrate. Don't be so serious. So don't let people get you out of character. Don't let people make you be so serious. You know, be carefree. Birth in a new age here. Birth in new creations. Dream in a new world into being. So a lot of you guys are manifesting your own reality. A lot of you guys are bringing a new world. A lot of you guys are birthing something new. So you're in your empress energy. You're birthing something. The empress, she birthed these things here. She's for, she's fertile. She's about fertility. So that could be the birth of a new ideal. The birth of a new project. The birth of a child. You're birthing something here. Birthing new creations. Break the chain. In, um, ancestral patterns. Healing rewriting the future so you are healing your uh, your your um y'all know your ancestral line here you are breaking um generational curses basically you're breaking generational curses you are rewriting your um the future here you are healing your um your generation your generational line here you are healing your your you know y'all know what i'm trying to say <laughs> y'all know You are the one in the family to, um, you know, you are the one in the family to break generational curses, you know? So that's, that's good. That's what's up. So you guys, I'm getting the energy of you guys are chosen. You're called, you're a chosen being. Let's see what else for my Aquarius. Spirit, angel, and also white light. So, okay. So there, this could be news. This could be some type of the news that's being delayed. Something that's requiring you to have patience. This is inspiration planning. Um... Also, this could be someone spying on you. Someone's watching you. This could be a Gemini. This could be someone spying on you and watching you from a distance here. Let's see here. Okay. So, something is definitely coming in slow. This could be some sort of communication or some sort of news here. But something is coming in very slow. This could be something in regards to a job here. You could be waiting on a call back from a job or some type of news from a job here. This could also be that here. So some of you guys may go on the interview, but you may get some type of disappointing the news. You may not get the job, the job offer, but you know, it's always something better here. Yeah. So also I'm seeing here, um, also I'm seeing here, there's some type of news. Something is coming in very slow. Something is delayed here, but I'm also seeing here, there is a, a, a new beginning here. There's some, a, Okay. I got my eyes on you. You everything I need. I know your heart on an emotion. Hands on. See how that song? I got my eyes on you. So somebody got their eyes on you. Somebody got their eyes on you. I'm getting somebody. Somebody is watching you. Somebody has been watching you, spying on you. Somebody has been shaking you out. And they moving in on you slowly. There is somebody that wants to have like a... A relationship with you this could be somebody coming in slow it's like a new relationship here a new romance like a new love here some of you guys are also doing some spiritual healing or you've done some spiritual healing i told you somebody i'm telling you somebody wants to i'm also seeing somebody want your forgiveness too you got it you got it back when you're on the phone, ain't nothing you call right back. You got it, you got it back. When you miss a day without you, your whole life's all track. Somebody got it bad for you. So somebody got it bad. Somebody got it bad for you. Somebody is watching you. They really took a long time to come in to you, to, to make this offer to you. I make this a poly. Hold on now. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> so, yeah. 
So some of you guys, you may meet someone. Y'all may start off as friends. You may start off as like friends and like, you know, let's see here. Oh, damn. So just as in reverse. Shit, what the fuck is going on? So there is some so there is something that was unfair here. So somebody could have been talking a lot of shit about you. Somebody that just really came to me. Somebody been gossiping about you a lot, spreading rumors about you, talking shit about you, spying on you, watching you. Um somebody who's very calculated and, and they just really been spreading a lot of gossip and just something is an injustice here. There's karmic justice is here retribution is here something is corrupt something was dishonest something was corrupt somebody lacked accountability what the fuck this is justice and this could be a libra with the justice in reverse okay let's see what's going on damn i'm telling you Someone is a fucking criminal or someone committed a crime or someone is a fucking criminal or someone is watching you trying to plan an attack on you or trying to plan to set you up or do something they have no business doing. If somebody is watching you, trying to watch your every move, trying to plan when to attack you, this person is not going to go how they how they want it to go. This person is going to experience extreme justice here. This could be another Aquarius. Could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Yeah, I'm telling you, if somebody commits some type of crime, watching somebody trying to, you know, peep somebody mo, or they leave at this time, they come back at this time. Oh, ooh, ooh, I'm telling you, something is not going to go. It's not going to go like that. Yep, I told you what I just said. I, it's not going. What I just said is not going to go like that. I just said it's not going to go like that. Somebody's going to be disappointed. They're going to be regretting that shit. Just on period. On period. They're going to be regretting that shit. I'm telling you, that shit going to come to their ass so fucking fast. That karma going to hit their fucking ass. I'm also getting to somebody has a substance abuse problem as well. Someone could be someone could like have a substance abuse issue. Someone could have an issue with popping pills, a lot popping a lot of pills, being on Molly's. Hmm, hold on. I'm also getting some type of something, some type of communication online or something online too. Somebody could be communicating with you online. But somebody is intimidated or somebody is afraid about some sort, some sort of truth here. Yeah. I'm telling you, somebody's afraid about, I'm telling you, somebody is afraid about the truth or somebody is afraid of telling you the truth somebody knows you see through the illusion somebody knows you see through the bullshit just period yeah somebody knows that they made a foolish mistake somebody mo yeah somebody know they made a foolish mistake here I feel like there's also somebody that you don't trust. I feel like you don't trust somebody. You know that somebody is reckless. They do. They, they have poor judgment. They do stupid shit here. They keep a lot of secrets here. And I feel like you just have fear of taking a chance on somebody. Like, I feel like you don't want to take a chance on somebody. You have fear of taking a chance on somebody here. I'm also getting to somebody could have been afraid to take a chance on you. But their intuition could have been telling them this this would be a new beginning. Mm. I 
I'm also seeing like, okay. I'm also seeing like you could have saw through somebody too. Like you could have saw through somebody. It's I feel like, okay, boom. You could have like not trusted a person, right? Cause I'm seeing somebody here like you could have some some your intuition could have been telling you don't trust this motherfucker. Don't trust this motherfucker, don't do it. Like you knew somebody to talk to a lot of people online or somebody like to talk to a lot of people. Somebody like always keeping like a spare tie. They always keeping a lot of options. They always talking to a lot of people. You could have saw something clearly about somebody. Something could have told you don't take a chance on this person. This person, they're reckless, they're foolish. Somebody was very foolish and reckless. And like your intuition could have been telling you this person only wanted to have sex with you. They only wanted a sexual connection with you but you still took a chance on this motherfucker yeah yep something yeah that's what i feel like this is something told you don't trust somebody somebody reached out you communicated with you you knew somebody kept a lot of options you knew somebody talked to a lot of people you kind of wasn't trusting the person wasn't like I feel like you wasn't your intuition was telling was telling you don't take a chance on this person don't it's not going to be a new beginning how you think and it's like you still end up giving this motherfucker a chance and this person disappointed you they came in real quick they came this, this person been watching they've been watching you they've been watching you. they know they did they know they did you wrong this person came in out of nowhere in your life they could have came back in your life disappointed you again had sex with you and left you on red you could be dealing with the Pisces. Pisces Aquarius, you, you, you could be with a, a Pisces or another Aquarius like yourself, yeah, with the moon in the man, heavy Pisces or a Libra, or somebody has these in their chart, they just left you on red, period, somebody was with the bullshit, that's just what it is, hmm, let's see what's going on for my Aquarius. So you're going to meet somebody while traveling. You may be traveling. You may be out and about. You know, you may be in traffic. You know what I'm saying? Weaving in and out of lanes. You know, I tie that. You know, you could be in traffic or you could be traveling on vacation. You could just be going to the grocery store or whatever. But you're going to end up meet somebody while you're out. There's somebody coming in towards you. Yeah. Somebody coming in towards you. Yeah. And this could be in the future. This is happening. But it's going to be a stable relationship. A very stable relationship I'm getting here, yeah. Cause I feel like you're ready, you're open for love, you're ready for love here. Like 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 the last card I had said, you're ready and open for love. Like when I pulled from this deck, yeah. Somebody is coming into you, somebody chooses you, you know. I feel like the, yeah, I feel like this person is ready for love, open for love here. Yeah, somebody is somebody is manifesting you or you manifested this person. Mm, beautiful. Ooh, something's gonna be very fulfilling. Ooh, shoot. Some of you guys may be careful because you you know you may end up pregnant for sure. You may end up pregnant, or some of you guys could be in your last trimester as well. You could be pregnant, but in your last trimester, yeah, you gonna yeah y'all gonna have a new you gonna end up having a new addition to the family. <laughs> okay, some of you guys gonna end up what I said. Some of you guys will end up pregnant, bitch. You gonna end up being somebody with the mother. Yup. Some of you guys are going to end up pregnant here. Yeah, what I said. I'm telling you, end up pregnant. I'm definitely getting pregnancy here. Pregnancy vibes. Okay. Yeah, somebody want to apologize to you. I'm telling you. Somebody wants to apologize to you. That saw you as just basically like a fuck buddy. I'm, that's what I'm getting. Somebody want to, um, but I feel like you got somebody else coming in though. You got somebody else coming in. This, this is coming. Somebody is coming. So you gonna meet this person while you out and about. Y'all gonna have a solid. It's gonna be a stable relationship. One that is solid. It's not gonna go anywhere. And then you got somebody over here. Yeah. But you could be nervous. Yeah. So I feel like you're nervous. Because I feel like you're nervous about um, this relationship being successful. You're nervous about moving forward in this connection. But you have nothing to worry about. I feel like you're going to get your ten of cups. You're going to end up having a family with this person. You're going to be very happy. Something's going to be successful. You have nothing to worry about. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like you're going to overcome this challenge. You're going to overcome it. 
You could be getting tired. Of, you could also be getting tired of being single, doing everything on your own, paying all the bills on. You could paying all your the bills on your own. You could really want a partner or want somebody you can share the responsibilities with. Somebody you could be in a relationship with to take the light off. You know what I'm saying? Not that it's like a, a roommate type of situation, but just really having somebody, having that other person there by your side. Yeah, and somebody over here wants to apologize to you. Like I said, someone that saw somebody just very immature who's not emotionally mature in their emotions, who don't who don't know how to communicate their emotions well. This is somebody who um wants to apologize to you, who saw you as just a fuck buddy. Yeah, somebody who who hurt you. This is an ex of yours, somebody who hurt you, somebody that saw you as um old you thought oh you're sexy, you're just like looked at you as a as a sex symbol. They didn't look at you as wife material like you was anything more. It's a sex symbol here. This is somebody that definitely hurt you here. There was a separation here, something definitely ended here. And somebody wants to apologize to you. I feel like you're yeah, I feel like I feel like you I feel like you did a lot of thinking. You did a lot of thinking. You reflected a lot about this ending. You really have. Yeah, somebody's planning on apologizing you to in, in the future here. But you really had time to really reflect on this um on this ending. I how something ended between you and a person. Yeah. I feel like you're thinking about how things ended with you and this person before. Now that this person wants to apologize to you. Yeah, they want to make an offer to you. Somebody wants to fight for you now. Now that you're walking away. Mm. Now that you're moving on. Yeah, I told you walking away from this person. This is somebody that was all about their money in the past. It was all about money in the past. It was they was all about their bad, their security, their stability. They was all about the fancy cars, the fancy houses. They was all about their money. This is somebody that was obsessed with money heavily. You know, money is not everything in the world. You know, money don't buy happiness. You understand? And true love is not standing on every corner. You know, money cannot buy love. So this is somebody that you want to give your cup to. This is somebody you want to give your love to. But instead of them accepting your love, this is somebody that was focused on pretty much finances. Yeah, this is somebody that is could be doing some type of um, manipulation in your energy. Yeah. You could be manifesting this person here. This could be your divine counterpart. Yeah, but this person is being blocked for something better. Because you're manifesting, like there's an emperor that's coming in for you. Feel like too somebody was refusing to grow up <laughs> somebody was refusing to like step into their mask their, their masculine energy i'm getting that too somebody was refusing to man up and be the man you needed them to be to be the person to be to be somebody that can provide you security this is somebody that was more lustful they they, they was more of a lustful person somebody that was more sexual somebody that was you know they think with their penis and not with their head. This was this type of person. This person was refusing to see themselves to be some. Refusing to see they can be better is what I'm seeing here. This is somebody that was also very nasty, very manipulative, very um conny, just very vengeful, very spiteful here. Yeah, and now somebody regrets it. And I feel like you just simply just. Stop to end up stop talking to the person like you okay you ain't talking to me bitch I ain't talking to you you know what I'm saying you just laid it to rest now somebody regret trying somebody was intentionally giving you the silent treatment playing a lot of mind games trying to be manipulative somebody was in, somebody was obsessively doing this and now they're in regret now the tables have turned now they're in regret for trying to get you up there's somebody that betrayed you now they got regrets here trying to give you the solid treatment they betrayed you stabbed you in the back bad mouth you and all that shit now they're disappointed here 
Now they're disappointed. They regret not working with you. They regret not trying to be a team player. Yeah, they regret trying to they regret trying to instead trying to compete with you, trying to be in competition with you, trying basically going against you. Going against you. Yeah, this is somebody that left you out in the cold. But it was definitely a test for you though. It was a test. This is somebody that banned you, ghosted you, left you out in the cold. Yeah, in the past. What I told you, in the past. In the past, just period. Yeah. Somebody made you wait or somebody delayed. Somebody could have felt like they couldn't come towards you as well because somebody could have been stuck in a situation where it was finances involved here. Yeah. Now somebody is worried. Somebody is worried about you being happy. They're worried about, you know, you being enlightened. I'm worried about something being exposed, about them trying to cause conflict in your life, trying to wreak havoc in your life, trying to team up people to compete against you, to troll you. Yeah, that's what they're worried about. Yep, yep. Yeah, they're worried about now that, yeah, they're worried about being able to heal this conflict with you, somebody you fell out with. And they're worried about being able to heal the conflict with you, period. They're worried about it. Somebody you know you. This is somebody that was very bitter. It's somebody that was bitter. There was a bitter, selfish motherfucking person. Somebody who was very malice, and somebody who indulged in a lot of third parties here. And they know that. And they know that you are the ten of pentacles. They know that you are the abundant one. You're meant to be wealthy. You're meant to be rich. Live lavish. Live good. Also, okay. Let's get into also um what they want to say. Aquarius. Yeah, this person did you wrong. There was an injustice. So the scales are being balanced out because there was an injustice that was done to you. Something was wrong. It was unfair. It was unjust. Yeah, what I said. I just said the scales are being balanced. If something was unjust, yeah. And you're moving forward here. And you're getting the willpower, the strength, the ambition, determination to move forward. You're disciplined. You have, you know what I'm saying, direction. Period. Let's see what they want to say. I got my eyes on you. This person got, I swear I'm telling y'all, this person got their eyes on you. Okay. You everything I want. Oh, shoot. Let me see. For the Aquarius. Sun, Rock, Venus, and North Node. Now, also, Aquarius, go ahead and look at your opposite sign, too. Don't forget to check out the Leo reads because that is your opposite sign. That is your sister sign, okay? You know, the opposite sign of Aquarius is Leo, and the opposite sign of Leo is Aquarius, of course. So, make sure you guys checking out your sun signs as well. And also, checking out any other signs that's um, in your birth chart as well. Don't forget. Because something may, res may resonate there as well. Yeah, seductive. Somebody feels like you're very seductive. This person loves your body. This person feels like you be doing gymnastics. It says your thought. The thoughts of you grow stronger every day. I can't stop thinking about you. See now, this person is player. This player. This person tried to play you. Now they thinking about you all the time. I can get you on my mind. Can get you on my mind. Y'all hurting you was hurting myself. Damn, boo. I'm sorry. This is somebody who they feel like you're very seductive. You're sexy. You know, you just be calling them. Your body's, your body calling me. How that song go? Your body calling me. Something like your body calling. Your body. I forget. Oh, I can't think of how it goes. Like your body calling me. Your body calling me. Something like that. Yeah, somebody feel like your body is calling them. But this is somebody who they think about you all the time. The thoughts of you on their mind is growing stronger by the day. This is somebody that tries to play you and hurt you and they end up hurting their damn self. Yeah, you're the only one I want. Now does somebody feel like that you're the only one that they want to be with here? Yeah, I'm ready to tell you how I feel about you. Somebody could want to give you roses or give you a rose here too. Somebody could want to give you a white rose. But somebody is ready to tell you how they feel. This person has been working on themselves. I feel like this person been working out. They've been doing a lot of reflecting. They've been doing what I told you. I want I watch you from a distance. What I told you, this person either they be watching you where you stay at, but they, they be like parked like somewhere else. They be watching you from a distance. Physically or this person watch you online, just period. 
Yep. This person is ready. Now they want to open up. They want to tell you how they feel here. Do you still love me? I don't know what to do without you. This person know that you really can. This person know that your feelings was genuine. But they didn't give the same back to you. Yeah. Run out of time. This is somebody that's taking their time here. Run out of time in reverse. They could be taking their time. This somebody feel like they got time to, you know, make it up with you. Yeah, yeah. This somebody who, yeah, it, it, the timing is not right. It could be not time for this person to come towards you yet because this person has to do the shadow work. This somebody who, who still has to work on themselves. They have to work on their shadow side. Yeah, this somebody who, yeah, they could be going through an awakening. Somebody is on a spiritual journey here. Yeah, this person on a spiritual journey, they going through an awakening or something. I'm going crazy without you. There's somebody that's going cuckoo for cocoa puss without your ass. And that's on period, baby. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, baby. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and fuck with your girl.